Hi Capricorn, welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Capricorn is Stenbocken in Swedish. I am Swedish, so I will throw in a few Swedish words here and there where I feel like maybe the English needs some clarification for my Swedish audience. Um, it's still Leo season, just shifting into Virgo season when I'm recording this. Depending on when you listen to this, it might already be Virgo season. Uh, with Leo and Virgo season, I just mean we shift like the astrology sign just moves in like it shifts from one sign to to the next, and so we've been in Leo and now we uh, go into Virgo, which is Leonet and then Jungfrun. Um, yeah, and with this Leo season, I just feel like it has been a really beautiful energy and it has been really bold, like uh, like a full force ahead. And I feel also like there's been, now with being able to look back and like what has gone on in this month, I feel like you could like pr pretty much recap your whole life within this one month. That's, that's what I've experienced and that, that's what I feel like overall for the collective. It's a major feeling of everything that doesn't fit anymore, everything that sort of has bugged you in the past, sort of have, has annoyed you in the past. Um, bugged and annoyed. Reta uh, dig, stört dig. Has come up again only to be healed, only to move on, to pass on. Uh, going into Virgo season, it feels like everything that sort of was, you know, thrown up again and taken a look at again, however that applies in your life. Maybe you've looked into finances again. Maybe you looked into relationships again. However that like applies uh, in your life, it just, it just feels like it has been sort of a review and an echo sort of thing. And coming into Virgo season now, it's more of a, okay, let's take everything that is thrown up in the air and, and make peace with it. Car, com, compartmentalize? No, is that what you say? Like, put it into order. Like, everything has its own little cat category and, and the category mainly, it doesn't matter where you put it, but it's gonna feel more organized, it's gonna be feel more, feeling more calm, more at, at peace, things like that. So let's see where you're at, um, Capricorn, in this in this crazy energy. Um, and what's going on with you guys for this week? Ah! And I do three cards at, at the, um, the same time, and I... Um, sort of want to get a story out of it straight away rather than looking at one on one card. So I'm doing three cards that I feel like I'm, I should draw. Two, three. I'm going to show you first and then in this order. So the first card out is always my, um, it's like the basic energy. That's mainly what's going on with you for this week. Uh, and the basic energy is choices. Make the best choices with the big blood moon. And there's sort of a little relationship that you hold in the palm of your hand right now as well. So let, let's take a look at that. Um, second card out is knowledge, which is my card for sort of getting more information, dive deeper, look deeper into the situation that you're in and thirdly it's letting go learn to let go <laughs> uh have you had this before um little bugger coming up again okay so choices let me feel into this for just a second yeah no i i am mostly drawn to the relationship so let's go into that and since it's a general reading i can't possibly connect with all of you guys so just take whatever applies in your life if you feel like no no that's not in my relationship but that perfectly fits like in my work situation then use your work situation um so it's a huge blood moon there and like i've said maybe to you guys or at least some other signs um when the blood moon shows up it's not 
I mean, it's not a typical, like on that very day that's going to happen, at least in not, not in my world, because you have some say in it. Like you will decide there might like Leo season. It was like the biggest opening of so many, you know, moons. Um, like there was a potential to open up and open up and open up and just get more and more and more of, of the things that, that you want and sort of make th almost the biggest transformation and transitioning in your life but if you're not there if you don't feel it if you don't if you're not ready like it doesn't matter if it's leo season you have a say in it like you you decide whether to move ahead or to sort of not hold your horses like i'm not ready um so like yeah that's what i want to say about that so the blood moon showing up sort of just at least shows you that there is a turning point there is a peak there is a specific time coming and and you probably feel like it's going towards it like it feels like oh I, the first thing i'm thinking about is a global warm, warming and how like just in comparison um how how it's getting more and more intense it's more and more people talking about it it seems like there's more and more things happening due to global warning and to even i would say put even more fire on the global war warming effect so there's like things happening that sort of that sort of takes it to its peak and at some point it's just going to break at some point we have to figure something new out at some point it's going to blow like that sort of feeling and just take it down a notch or two uh in your into your own personal life i just feel like there's still a peak that you're heading, you have that sort of same feeling, you're heading somewhere. It's like a, you will reach a destination where you feel like, yes, I have arrived, or yes, it's here now, or yes, um, it's time for me to do that thing, or it's just a feeling, it's time for me. And it doesn't matter if it's like time for you to move somewhere, or if it's time to for you to just be your own person. You, you sort of feel whether that's an internal 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 or what do you say external <laughs> i was like outernal um external uh journey of course it's always an internal journey and and the the exterior the outside will follow y you you make the choice there but i do feel like what it's coming what the peak is about is a relationship and the relationship is something that you really have been thinking about and whether, whether you're in a committed relationship or you're single um, or even get separated. So you might have been, you might be broken up with somebody or like being on a break. We're on a break. <laughs> That's Ross in France, if you didn't know that. Uh, we were on a break. Um, yeah, like just a, just a feeling that you might come back together. That would be the separated people. Um, like it doesn't feel completely over. So it doesn't matter which one you're in, uh, this applies for all. Like if you're in, com in a committed relationship, I feel like there's a peak in this relationship as well. There's a, and of course it's not like a, it's a peak and then it's all downhill from there. I just feel like there's something that you're working on, something that you're talking about, something that you want to come into fruition right now. And it sort of deepens and, it, and it's, or it could be that you're just playing the quiet game the quiet game, the quiet game, the quiet game, and eventually somebody's gonna talk. Somebody has to. Somebody, you know, whatever is going on there. If there's, if you're a single person, you're so close to your person, you can taste it, or at least smell it. Like, that's the peak for you. If you're in a separated relationship, one of you guys are gonna come around. Like, one of you guys has to reach out. One of you guys, th there's there's going to be a reunion of some sort, whether that reunion leads to you finally just feeling like, oh, okay, good to know. We are going to go our separate ways. Or if that reunion gets you to really talking and understand each other and, and you sort of know for a fact, no, we're going to continue together. I'm trying to just picture every scenario here. It's, I, I, I feel a bit, ah, when I'm thrown into having so many different I wish I could just feel one thing and just go on one path, but it feels like it's a gazillion ones. So I'm trying to just give you as many as I can for you to feel like it, how that could fit in your life. And 
but it's about the peak. It's about the, but the leading up to, to then know. Okay. And that brings me to the next card and in, in particular about the relationship. Then the next card out coming up next to this card is get more information, which means you, you want to start talking. You want, um, and that could be you start talking to yourself. Like you don't want to just keep it on a down low or keep it quiet or sort of put a lid on it. If you were to put a lid on it and you sort of don't want to ever touch it again, that is a possibility. Like you could shift timelines. Come with me here on the metaphysical. Um, you could shift timelines and you could sort of never look at one thing again and it really literally would be gone in your life from your rea reality. It, it would not have to show up again. But this is not something that you don't want to look at again. If you're in a committed relationship, you want to dive deeper. You want to get closer. You want to find out what's like the best for the two of you or three or four of whom I to judge. Um, like uh, whatever that is. And if you're single, you want to find out uh, whether your person is coming or not. You want, if you're separated, to have that talk. You want to have, you want to have clo closure, like at all slut, or you want to come back together. Like, I feel that you want that. So it's about getting more information. Talk to your person. Like, and even if you're single, like, I don't, I don't have anybody to talk to. They're not here yet. Uh, yes, you have there's a person in the wings, there's a person energetically, and you can start talking to them right now. And I promise you, you'll get answers even. Get more information. Third card out is letting go. And coming out next to these two cards, I feel like there is something around this, like, so around this relationship, there is something that you sort of, um, like if you're holding a grudge or something and i i'm leaning more towards now the committed and the separated um capricorn is there something that you're a bit um like like you're holding a bit of a grudge you're being a bit of a baby i'm sorry <laughs> like uh, uh holding a grudge like man är lite man är lite sur lite långsint Maybe that too. Um, I need translation for my Swedish. Uh, okay, no, like this is more of a. I don't. I want to lift you guys. I want to. I want to feel. I want you to feel like I'm on your side. <laughs> I am on your side. If you sort of, if you sort of let go a bit. If you sort of like whatever got you separated. I mean, if it's a heavy thing. If it's like somebody cheated on you or somebody is really being an asshole, or you know that's not you holding a grudge that's you that's you finding out whether you should be with this person or not i'm not saying that this is for the capricorn i'm connecting with that i'm feeling like there is something that you could let go of and you know like you know in your heart like yeah i know i'm just you know i don't like when they do that no i know you know but do you want to be right or do you want to feel good I want to be right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll do, I'll do a final card here. Let's hope I can have enough time to talk about it. The letting go part, I also feel like feeling, like if you're in a conversation with your partner or if you like you try to come to some agreement or some resolution, result, uh, that there's, there's things that you could let go of. You don't have to like, you don't have to actually bring that into the conversation because it sort of doesn't have anything to do with it. And if it's um, for you separated guys, there, there might be that you need to let go of the person that you separated from. I feel something around that too. Uh, a closing up card and maybe the beginning card for, for extended here. Sensuality. Uh, yes, you need to come home to yourself. You've given yourself away a bit, I feel. Both for the committed and the separated and single. You have, you have given yourself away, meaning you've given up your power a bit. You have sort of let go. Maybe that's why you're holding a bit of a grudge. 
uh, you're actually not mad at them. You're mad at yourself for letting yourself go that way. And that's just you trying to be nice. You're just trying to feel every, every, like if, if somebody needs help, you're just trying to feel, well, what do you say? You're just trying to help everybody. You just, and it becomes on, on the cost of you. If that makes sense. And you, you need to find yourself again. Let's go deeper into this and this relationship thing. And um, go, go to the extended if you want to follow me there. If you don't, then thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please share it with your friends. So I can reach a thousand people. And then this thing will just take care of itself. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Uh, if you want to watch the extended, click the little arrow next to the title. And the curtain drops down. It says extended reading. And it's a link there. You just click it. Well, I'll see you there. Take care, guys. Bye.